Nicholas Kazana fulfilled his dream to bring a high-end hotel to downtown Knoxville. He is now selling the Tennessee Inn along with the adjacent Holiday Inn to an investment company. Once an aging state office building, the Tennessee Inn Personal Luxury Hotel opened in 2017 and a year later landed at number one on Southern Living's list of the South's best hotels. Kazana will retain ownership of the luxury residences on the hotel's top two floors. The Trust Company of Tennessee and founder and CEO Sharon Price donated $50,000 for the renovation of the Westside family YMCA. Members of the investment firm took a spin in the renovated studio last week. The fiscal experts are part of a weekly internal physical fitness program at the Westside Y. Voting starts next week for U.S. Cellular's fourth annual Black History Month art contest. Children from boys and girls clubs in Knoxville and Madisonville created artwork of influential African Americans. Ten finalists will be selected with their artwork displayed inside area U.S. Cellular stores. Vote inside the stores throughout February for your favorite. The top three winners will receive gift cards from $100 to $250. The open house to learn about plans for the revitalization of Austin Homes has been rescheduled for Tuesday, February 5th at Green Magnet. Academy. The event had been set for earlier this week, but was postponed because of inclement weather. Knoxville's Community Development Corporation plans to revitalize its Austin home site into a mixed income residential community with possible other uses. The Moxcar Minute. News for you.